Hey everybody, Lee Veris here, bringing you Photoshop tips and techniques for teachers and students. Sorry I've been uh, absent lately, uh, had some uh, distractions, uh, little medical issues that we had to take care of over here. And no, I do not have COVID-19. Uh, I'm actually doing fine. Uh, I've been working on a new uh, online class for uh, sharpening in Photoshop. So I thought I'd share with you a, a new sharpening technique that I've been working on. It's it's actually a, a, a variation on a technique I had in my skin book called Octave Sharpening. And uh, I've um, revised it a little bit, updated it, and uh, so uh, I thought I'd, I'd share that with you today. Let's get started. This tutorial examines a new sharpening technique for use with very soft images that require especially wide radius sharpening to control diffusion or soft focus effects. The Photoshop techniques covered include the use of the high pass overlay sharpen technique in multiple layers with successively widening radiuses to create a sharpening group that is then selectively applied through a layer mask. Let's get started. So uh, we're going to use this uh, photograph of my wife, the, the famous and lovely Bobby Lane. Uh, and uh, this was actually done, um, although I really love the expression on her face here, this was done as a test for a uh, a lens baby uh, velvet, uh, I think it's a velvet 80. Uh, it's a really great portrait lens. And it was this one was taken uh, wide open, which is the softest um, uh, way uh, to use the lens. And uh, if we if we zoom in, you can kind of tell that it's really even though it's so soft, it's actually the lens is focused. Uh, and it really falls off towards the outside of, of the lens. But uh, it, it's it's actually nicely focused on her eyes, but it's so soft and diffused that it creates the impression of a lack of focus. So um, the technique we're going to use here uh, is what I call octave sharpening, and that is uh, uses a successive uh, a range of layers and successive group of layers uh, with ever widening radiuses to create uh, the sharpening effect. And it's kind of a way of minimizing the appearance of the halos, which, uh, you know, we want to sharpen, but we don't want to notice the sharpening halos. So this is an interesting approach um, and uh, requires me making a duplicate of the image in a layer and uh, removing all the color. So desaturating it. And I, I'm going to show you a slightly different way of doing that. Normally, I would just duplicate the layer and then uh, desaturate it with a hue saturation adjustment. But in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a solid color uh, adjustment layer, and we're going to we're going to eliminate all the saturation. So I have saturation of zero here. I've just dragged the color off to sort of a middle gray area here, and uh, then we're going to change the apply mode for that adjustment to color. Now this is this is a, a more accurate way of getting the luminosity of the layer uh, without the color, and uh, it's 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 a little bit more accurate than just desaturating a duplicate layer. But now I need to get this layer, uh, this image, which is a result now of two layers. I need to get that into a single layer. So I'm going to hold down the Option or Alt key and select Merge Visible, while I keep that Option or Alt key down. And that will give me a new layer that's a, a duplicate of the combination of those two layers. So now I can throw away that color um, fill adjustment layer. And this is uh, this is going to be, we'll call this layer, we'll leave it called it layer one. Uh, but, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll relabel it here to sharpen one. Okay, so the sharpen one layer, uh, we're going to apply uh, a certain level of sharpening to this. But what I'm going to do now is duplicate this a number of times. So one, two, three. I want to end up with uh, four uh, different sharpen layers. And depending on uh, 
your needs, you may extend this out, make more layers. But I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So this one, I'm going to re rename these. This will be uh, Sharpen 4, okay, and uh, Sharpen 3. I'll, 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 I'll explain this in a minute here. And Sharpen 2. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to turn off the visibility of those layers at the moment. This first sharpen layer is going to get the high pass overlay treatment. So um, what I'm going to do is filter it uh, using a high pass filter. And uh, I'm not going to bother turning it into a smart object. I'm just going to go right down here to sharpen other high pass. And uh, we'll give it like a, a kind of five five pixel radius you can just barely start to see the edges of the image just barely coming in here um, in order to really start emphasizing this this more narrow uh, radius uh, that's the two uh, the five pixel radius I'm going to actually add uh, a, a curves adjustment on top of this and I'm going to group the curve so that it it forms a clipping group with that underlying layer. So that means that this curve is going to be applied to that, that high pass layer before it can, again is applied into the underlying images. So what I want to do is increase the contrast here. Um, so I'm going to really crank this up here just like this. So you'll notice what I'm doing is I'm trying to make uh, the endpoints of the curve come in such that the curve passes through that, that center point and uh, um, we're going to you can see how that that line passes right through it's important that that background remain um, a, a middle gray constant middle gray so i um, gonna nudge that over I'm, I'm just moving the cursor into the background area until it says 128 that's my middle gray value for the purposes of the overlay. And you can kind of see now if I if I toggle this curve on and off, I've increased the contrast a bit so that we can just start to see um, the edges of the image coming into a little bit sharper relief here in this, um, this high pass layer. Okay, so this layer ultimately what we're going to do is apply it in overlay mode. Okay. And it's going to provide just you know, just the very subtle little bit of sharpening. But what we're going to do now is now I'm going to go to the next uh, sharpen layer. And instead of sharpening that the same way, I'm going to go uh, high pass again. And instead of five pixels, we're going to use 10. Okay, so now you can kind of see it's a little bit more, uh, more of the images coming into relief here. Um, this layer is going to go back into high pass, right? Or uh, overlay, sorry. And you can kind of see already it's starting to really sharpen up, right? But the idea is that if I, I don't want to increase the opacity, I want this layer to have half the opacity as the previous layer, because I want these wider and wider radius settings to kind of ramp off and disappear. And, um, uh, we're going to change the opacity here to 50%. So that's half the opacity, right? Uh, now I'm going to go back to this layer. This is sharpen three. We're going to do another high pass, only this time it'll be 20 pixels. So you can, now you can really see it, the relief of the image is really starting to show up. Again, we'll place this into overlay mode. But now you can really see that wide radius is really pulling in the texture of the skin. Uh, but again, we're not going to be using this at a full 100%. Uh, we're going to put this at 25%. So you notice how we were at 50% here, we're at 25% here. Guess what we're going to do with this last one? Same sort of thing. We're going to use overlay and uh, high pass. Only this time we'll do 40 pixels. And that will be placed in uh, overlay mode. And instead of, because I can't do 12.5, I'm going to do 13% opacity. 
Okay, so now all of these sharpening layers are com combining to contribute to the overall sharpening effect. So I'm going to shift click to select all of them and I'm going to place all of them into a group, a new group from layers. Okay, so this new group we will call sharpen. Yeah. And um, the idea here is that I can selectively apply this. Now, let me let me zoom in here so we can kind of see if I if I turn this group on and off, you can kind of see the the, the the amount of sharpening. I don't want to apply it to everything. And in fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mask off um, these last three layers here. Because if I turn those off, I have nice sharpening the eyes and I'm not sharpening the skin so much. But I do want to have a little bit sharper look. So as I add those layers back in, it gets ever sharper. I just don't want this look to be applied to the skin. So what I'm going to do here is uh, we're going to, well, let me just turn them back on. I'm going to add, um, I'm going to add a layer mask here that hides everything. So I want to hold down the option or alt key and click on that layer mask icon. So now I've got a black layer mask here. I'm going to paint into this black layer mask where I want things sharp, which is really just around the eyes. Let me turn off these two layers. So painting in with white to reveal the second level of sharpening around the eyes, right? So just get those eyelashes and the, and the pupil and all that sharp. Uh, the lips, so I'm, brushing this over the lips to sharpen them up. And uh, let me just solo the layer mask. So I'll hold down the option alt key and click on that layer mask thumbnail to solo it and make sure that I've got those, uh, the, that's where the additional sharpening is being revealed. And I'm going to copy this mask into these three other layers. So I'll hold down the option or alt key and then just drag that layer mask over so now all three of those layers are masked off. And so I have the full sharpening effect on the eyes and the lips, but only that first level of sharpening on the skin. So the skin looks a little bit smoother. And I can decide, uh, you know, perhaps we'll put a little more sharpening into the, into the hair. So I'm going to brush into this layer mask here, the sharpening three layer mask, and just kind of get just a little bit of emphasis in the hair there. But otherwise, I don't want to sharpen anything else, right? I, I'm, I like the, the, the edge, di, you know, diffusion effect that's creating this kind of soft focus look. And uh, now what I'm going to do now is, um, actually, I think I'm done. So I've got just a little bit of sharpening on the skin, but a lot of sharpening in the eyes and the lips, which gives it a very uh, pleasing look. So it looks, it's got this kind of soft focus lens look, but then the, the elements that I really want sharp are sharp using this, what I call the octave sharpening technique. So let's take a look at that again. That's before sharpening, that's after sharpening. Let's zoom in to 100%. You can really see it now. You can kind of see, and yet it does not look, you don't notice any halos because the halo ramps off so gradually you can't see that there's an actual halo being applied. But of course, the only sharp the only way we get sharpening is to have halos. So uh, there you go. To review. The basic approach is to use the high pass overlay sharpen technique with multiple layers of ever widening radius and lower opacity. And this uh, causes the, the halos to sort of ramp off very gradually such that the sharpening halos are imperceptible. Everything is then placed in a layer group which can be selectively applied uh, using a layer mask.
I hope you enjoyed this episode of Photoshop Rant. If you have any questions or you'd like to see more detail about any of the techniques I touched on in this project, please let me know in the comments. You can always find more detailed information on my website, and you might consider following me on YouTube and Twitter to find out more about my various classes and workshops. Be sure and like the video, and please subscribe to my channel on YouTube and ring the bell so that you don't miss any rants in the future. Please consider following me on Instagram. I have two books in print available on Amazon in Kindle as well as paper versions, Mastering Exposure and the Zone System for Digital Photographers, and my bestseller, Skin, The Complete Guide to Digitally Lighting, Photographing, and Retouching Faces and Bodies. If you're looking for more in-depth Photoshop tutorials, I have a number of video courses available from my online school at Veris.com. Look under the Education menu for online courses and pick from 17 courses covering all aspects of post-production, workflow, retouching, and special effects, including my latest course on 21st century lighting techniques, Lighting in Layers with Photoshop. Thank you for watching. Post your questions and suggestions for topics to explore under the video, and I'll see you in the next Photoshop rant.